What would you say to a TWS earbud that can be used for both sports and sleeping? <laughs> I know they so, kind of sound like contradicting things. They're kind of opposite to each other. Sport, active, energy, you know, rough and tumble. Sleep. Sleep. Well, we're going to find out. Because in this video, I'm looking at the Mifo S TWS earbuds. Let's get it. What's cracking, audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Review, so I'm here with the Mifo S. And uh, yeah, just going to tell you a few things about it while I open the box here. So first of all, we're looking at Bluetooth version 5.2, and it's got different ANC or active noise cancelling modes. It's got strong, mild and pass through. Pass through of course is what we sometimes call ambient mode which allows you to hear your surroundings. Um, it's got a balanced armature driver which is quite unusual to see in a TWS, a single balanced armature. IPX7 waterproof rating 40 hours total playtime, which probably equates to about six hours for the earbuds themselves. Uh, touch controls, of course, low latency mode for gaming and video, and it also supports fast charge. So if with 15 minutes of with a 15 minute charge, you can get up to two hours playtime. So interesting. Let's have a look. Hey, oh man, that is cool. I like that. Aha, uh -huh, gotcha. Whoa, that's got some weight to it, man. <laughs> that feels premium. That feels awesome. Three pairs of silicone ear tips, and oh, it looks like we got some big ones. Oh, we might be in luck here, guys. A USB Type C charging cable, matching color. I like that. And of course, you get your documentation, which I won't need. So let's have a look at the actual earbuds now. There's a button here. Oh, I like this, man. That is sweet. That is really sweet. Spring-loaded top on the case there. Oh, man, they look awesome. So you've got a battery indicator here, three LEDs. Okay, time to have a look at the earpieces. And yeah, they are tiny, man. <laughs> I think these are going to be great for laying down. Of course, they're extremely lightweight. They're very small. And uh, you know what? Well, actually, you get four pairs of ear tips because there's already a pair on there, of course. But as always, I'm going to uh, take these away for a while, for a couple of days, have a listen, and I'll be back to let you know how they perform. All right, so I've been listening to the Mifo STWS earbuds here for a few days on and off, and I thought I'd come back and let you know what I think. First of all, I, I don't know how I missed this before, but on the front of the case here it says Sport and Outdo. Sp <laughs> I guess it could be read Sport and Outdo. It's probably meant to be outdoors, but I think Sport and Outdo sounds a bit better. So yeah, Sport and Outdo. Earbuds, love them. These are so comfortable. They just disappear so far into my ears. I, they almost get lost in there. So really comfortable, really lightweight. Battery life is about six hours with ANC off and about four hours with ANC on. So it's um, pretty ordinary in terms of battery life. And speaking of the ANC, it works about as well as you'd expect. You know, it uh, attenuates some outside noises, particularly constant noises like air conditions and engines and uh, things such as that. It's effective to some degree, but don't go expecting a, a class leading noise cancellation like Bose or Sony style or Apple uh, AirPods Pro, for example, but it works well enough. Now, in terms of sound, the Mifo S here has a V-shaped signature. It's got a boosted bass and it's got an elevated treble. Um, so it's kind of, 
It's punchy and it's bright at the same time. I like the bass actually. You would be surprised at the amount of bass that this single balanced armature driver can produce. It seriously sounds very similar to a dynamic driver. I guess because of the closed nature and the small size of the shells, that single BA can um, flex its muscles a bit and it, it actually sounds pretty beefy. Now the mid-range is a bit recessed but it's very clear, it's um, energetic as well, a little bit on the lean side perhaps, there is some warmth in the lower mids that carries over from the bass of course, instrument separation is not too bad but it can get congested during complex uh, segments in music. But the overall tone and human vocals sound pretty natural. And then in the treble, the treble is probably the weakest part of the Mifo S, which is not uh, at all unusual for a TWS earphone. It is a little bit, it's quite forward in the mix. Like I said, it is a boosted treble or elevated treble. So it's quite forward. Treble sensitive people might find it a bit too bright and aggressive and the, the treble is kind of thin it's not ultra it is fairly detailed it's not ultra precise or anything you know you're not expecting audiophile quality sound from from a product like this so the treble especially when you turn the volume up higher the treble gets a little bit on the splashy side a little bit too bright but for the most part it's quite manageable but the real selling point of these earbuds is their small size, like great, great, great fit. These fins here help really do a great job to help secure a good fit. They never felt like they were going to fall out of my ears or come loose. And I absolutely love this case. Did I mention that? I love this case. Yeah, I really do. The overall... Ah, it just feels so nice. It just feels so nice. Oh, and one last thing. These have got an IP67 water resistance rating, so you can actually wear these in the shower. Now, just to compare with something that's around the same price range, the final ZE3000 here, uh, it's, it's like $149, I think, from memory. And you can see right away, the shells are quite a lot bigger. You can't well, you can kind of sleep in these, it depends. But these don't have any active noise cancelling. It's just a straight up TWS earbud or earphone. But where the final excels in is in its timbre and tonality. This really sounds like what you'd expect from a wired earphone. The sound quality is exquisite. Very, very nice indeed. So in terms of pure audio performance, there's really no competition between the two. The, the Mifo here does have more bass quantity, surprisingly, for that balanced armature driver. So it's got this nice punchy bass. But, you know, overall quality definitely goes to the final here. But then on the other hand, you can't, these aren't ideal for sleeping. They're not as good for sports. These are really ideal for you know sports and activities and sleeping you can lay down on your side with these and they're very very comfortable so audio quality features and a um, bit of a novelty that size and you know this awesome case that i just love so much so to summarize the mifo s look at 139 to 159 dollars depending on where you look online it is a bit expensive you're not paying really for the audio quality. You're paying for the size, the design, the quality of the build, plus the ability to shower, sleep, and play sports in them. So that's the Mif OS. I like these. Uh, would I buy them? If I was looking for something specifically for sleeping, these would be my go-to in terms of sports, working out, or activities, etc., yeah, these are pretty high up on my list. There are many other ones that I can use, but not 
as many that are suited quite as well as these ones so you know what i think these are worth the price if that's what you're looking for and uh, yeah let's wrap it up there so thanks for watching guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up parfam audio file style if you're new to the channel and you want to see more reviews like this in the future go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget to come and uh, join us on our discord channel all my social links are in the description below along with my affiliate links and uh yeah until next time I'll see you later.